everyone. So we're in the car again. These car vlogs are becoming a bit of a popular thing. Um, we are on the way to Sandgate, which as you already know is where my wedding dress alterations that come seamstress is. I will show you some footage of Sandgate because it's a really pretty seaside village. It's not really a town. So a little bit of the outside of the shop. Um, yeah, so basically this is my first weekly vlog. That is the town bit up there. This is what's called the Estate. And that that you can see is right there in the distance. So yeah, this is so okay. So like I said, I'm on my way to have my um One of my best friends, Alice, she really loves lemon drizzle cake. So what I'm going to do is tomorrow we're going for her bridesmaid's dress fitting. So what I decided to do is make her a lemon drizzle cake. So what I'm going to do is I'm doubling up the recipe because um, I can't make Alice one and not make Paul one. Um, so I'm doubling up the recipe to make two. I'm just going to show you what I do. So I use the BBC Good Food recipe. So I'm just going to show you that. So it is i'll put it actually underneath in the description below or actually i'll write a blog post what i'll do is i will write a blog post about it so these are the ingredients laid out here there we go so you want to grease a loaf tin or in my case two loaf tins before you start i just like to be ready and organized when it comes to that so i'm going to use my truck's trusty mixing bowl um, I bought this from, I think it was Dunelm, I think. Um, really sturdy, got the little hearts on it, which is lovely. So the first thing I'm going to weigh out is the unsalted butter and the caster sugar, because these things are what you cream together first. So the first thing I'm going to weigh out is the caster sugar. So as I said, I need 225 grams of loaf, so that's 450 grams for the two loaves. I'm going to weigh that out. I'll probably do it in 225 and then 225. Now I'm a bit weird with mixing wet and dry ingredients so I'm actually going to weigh out the flour and put it into this bowl here. So for the flour I need 225 grams per Loaf. So I've got the McDougall self-raising flour for baking and I'm going to weigh out 225 grams twice. So I've got the all of the flour in there in a separate bowl. I'm now going to weigh out these butters. So each one is 250. Um, so you're basically going to use both of them. Um, it's 50 grams that I'm not going to use so it's probably just a little bit off the edge. So, in case I didn't mention it before, you did need to heat your oven up to 180 degrees or 160 fan gas mark 4. So, the first thing that I'm going to do is I need to cream together the butter and the sugar until it's pale and creamy. Now, I know this is going to take ages, so I'm going to let you join back when it's actually done. So, I have creamed up the butter and the caster sugar, so it's on to step 2. The next thing I'm going to do is add the eggs one at a time. So that is four eggs if you're making one, eight eggs if you are making two. So I forgot to show you what I added to the flour, but this is what it looks like when you've added the flour. So the next step is to grate the zest off of one lemon, um, which I'll be doing. Um, so yeah, the zest of one lemon, people. So I'm going to grate the zest of two lemons, that's one for each of the one for each of the cakes or loaves. So I've got a John Lewis bowl and I've got our grater that we got from Tesco's, I think it was. So this is the zest of two lemons. So this is all the zest um, mixed in. So I'm just going to transfer 
all of that into these two loaf tins. So now I'm going to pop these in the oven. So as I said, it's 45 to 50 minutes, gas mark 80, no gas mark 4, 80, 180 degrees or 160 fan. So this is what they look like when they come out the oven. What you need to do is get yourself a skewer. You need to put it inside the cake and bring it out. Um, I've just ni nipped the edge there, but if it comes out clean, which that does, um, then you know that it is that it is ready. Next thing you need to do is you need to prick the um, cake all over with a skewer. Um, what I like to do is I like to do it after I've done the drizzle. So you need to take um, one and a half lemons mixed with 85 grams worth of caster sugar for each cake. So that is three lemons and 175, well, whatever. Um, I'll tell you in the recipe <laughs> together. Three lemons, that's one and a half lemons each loaf that I had to hand squeeze because we seem to have broken our lemon squeezer, lemon juicer. And then here is 85 grams times two for the caster sugar. So I'm gonna mix these together, then I'm gonna prick the cakes all over, then I'm gonna pour over the mixture and the, sh the lemon juice soaks in to flavor the loaves and then the sugar forms like a, a really nice crusty top. So this is the mixture, so I've added the lemon juice to the sugar. So it's sort of like a thick, quite thick sugary mixture. So you wanna just mix that in until it's not so separated is at the stages now so now this is actually a kebab stick um, but I don't own any skewers so I'm just going to make small holes all over and that's going to allow the lemon juice to soak through into the cake so remember we do have the zest in the cake that gives it flavour but this just gives it that little bit more The juice just adds that little bit, you know. Brilliant. So I've got my mixture, just give it one last final stir. Pop the spoon in there. And just to show you, I'm just going to do it with one hand and just pour literally just pour it over. I'm going to actually use a spoon but I can't do that with one hand. Excellent. So I'll be back in a second when I've poured it all over. So this is what it looks like when all of the juice has been poured in and I will show you what it's like when it's ready to be served. This is what it's like when it's done. And this is two pieces, cut and ready to eat with our Costa Caramel Lattes. 